Hi everybody, my name is Sierra and today I'm going to show you how to make an art project at home with materials that you'll hopefully have around your house. So we'll be making a mixed media picture and we'll be adding some different colors and using all sorts of fun supplies to do that. I'm also going to show you a couple ways that you can make this a little bit more simple if you're looking for just a couple of steps to do at home. For this project, you will need a piece of cardboard or a sturdy piece of paper. I used a leftover box for mine. You will need a glue bottle and a pencil. You'll need twine, yarn, or any type of thick string will do. You'll need scissors to cut, tin foil, you'll need markers, and also a paintbrush. Before we get started with our project, we're going to talk about inspiration images. This is the one I chose. It is a piece from art history. It's a pop art piece by Roy Lichtenstein called Sunrise. I'm not really a morning person, so I'm gonna make mine into a sunset instead. Your inspiration can be anything you choose. That could be a design that you make up. It could be your name or even your family pet. The first step that I am doing is sketching my picture onto my cardboard. So I am going in with my landscape. You can see the mountains or the cloud formation in the background, a sun, and then those sunbeams coming through. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking my glue and I'm going to go over all of the lines I just drew. So every pencil line will get covered in glue. This doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna try your best to meet all of those lines with your glue, but if you're not perfect, that's okay. We are just putting the glue down so that we can stick our twine on top of it. The next thing I'm going to do is take my twine and I'm going to cut it up into various sized pieces. So we want some small pieces of twine, we want larger pieces of twine. This is so that we have enough different sizes to put on our drawing. So all of those glue lines will be covered in twine. So I am taking a piece of string, and this is a little bit tricky. You're gonna try to find strings that match the size that you need. So you'll use a small one, a large one, um, and you'll place them on top of your glue there. And see I've completed that step. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we've finished with our glue, we are ready to let our project dry. So we'll have to put it aside until it's completely dry before we move to the next step. You can also speed this along using a blow dryer if you'd like. I am showing you a way that you can modify this project. So like I said, you can create a simplified image. So this is an example of an abstraction. So I'm taking my glue and I'm just making some lines and placing them where I'd like. And then I'm gonna put twine on top of this. So it's just a more simplified image so that if you just need it to be a little bit easier, um, a couple less steps, this is a good option for that. And the same as the other one, we'll need time for this to dry as well. So the next step is taking tin foil and it's kind of like wrapping a present. So we are going to get a piece of tin foil a little bit larger than our project. So put that shiny side facing down and then we're going to take our project and we are going to make sure that the string is nice and glued on and we're going to put that picture face down on the dull side of that tin foil. And now we're gonna wrap our cardboard in tin foil. Once you've wrapped your picture in tin foil, we are gonna take our time and flatten the areas of tin foil around our raised areas of twine. So we're making this into a 3D image, and this is a bit of a sensory component, so we are gonna feel our materials. We wanna make sure it's nice and flat all around those 3D lines. And then once we've completed that, we're ready to add some color. 
Before we get into coloring, I wanted to show another way that you can modify this project. So tinfoil can be a really fun material to use in art projects. You can make sculptures, you can paint on tinfoil, you can also make prints with it. So right now I'm just folding up a large piece of tinfoil and I'm going to make an abstract design using a pencil. Again, this is a fun 3D kind of quality with that pencil. It's a little hard to see the design, so you can always choose to use Sharpie or another type of marker. Um, and then we can color it in just the same as the project we're working on. And now we are back to our inspiration image. So I am going to take colors from that and place them onto my picture. I am using those warm tones. That would be yellows, reds, oranges, and pinks. I am putting them in between each of my 3D lines. So I'm filling up each of those spaces with my markers. I'm using Crayola markers, so it is not going to look smooth yet, but now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to smooth out each of those colors. So I'm blending them into the background and it's going to be nice and smooth looking with that color. I'm going to do that throughout all of my spaces. Smooth out all of these. I'm going to then color in the bottom just like so and smooth them out as well. And then I have the completed sunset image. Moving back to our modified project, we are now placing colors in all of the shapes that we made. This is a great option, like I said again, to simplify the project. We can also just make various color choices, make different designs that we come up with. So there's all sorts of ways that you can modify projects so that anyone can do them if they choose. And there you have it, a beautiful 3D sunset. I hope you enjoyed creating this project or it inspired you to create something else. Bye, everybody.